What do you get if you mix a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey, a Kiss album, and a Hellraiser DVD? That's right, The Emperor's Children. In this video, I'll be showing you five techniques that you can use to convert your regular old Chaos Space Marines into the Dark God's most fabulous servants. Number one, weapons. Let's make some noise, Marines. No self-abusing Emperor's Children Marine is complete without some sort of sonic weaponry. Unfortunately, our current pre-made selection is limited to ancient resin casts or expensive Forge World sets. Thankfully, our Horus Heresy era kits feature some heavy bolters that are perfect for our needs. Although, I, as much as I love the Mark III bits, the Mark IV kit's bolter and arms will work better with our miniature's aesthetic. Now, before we can actually use it, we need to make a few modifications. The first of these is the removal of the muzzle brake from the front of the bolter with a knife or clippers. I would recommend keeping the two halves separated for these steps as well, because it just makes things much easier to cut away. With this done, you next want to remove the drum magazine. Again, this can be clipped, cut or sawn off depending on your own preference. Use the small V-shape on the coupling where the bolter meets the drum as a guide on where to cut here. Once everything has been removed, clean up the bolter with a knife or a file to smooth everything out and you should be left with a stripped down heavy bolter. Next, we need something sonic for our sonic blaster to emit its deadly sound waves from, and a good source of numerous speakers are the Voxcaster backpacks from Cadian Sprues. These are pretty cheap to get a hold of, and most guards players will find extra of these lying around, so go ahead and clip away the round speaker from the pack before cleaning up the area of the join. While you're at it, clip away another one of these as we'll be using this part again later on. With one of your speakers, flatten out the pointer at the end so that you're left with a flat circular surface, roughly a few millimeters in diameter. How you do this is entirely up to you, but I found starting off with clippers and then smoothing out with a file was pretty easy to do just like most of the Emperor's children, am I right? So next, you can glue your speaker to your bolter in the same position as the muzzle brake was before we removed it. What you'll be left with is the rough shape of the sonic blaster, but it still needs something to chaosify it. Something organic, something terrifying, and something that fits in with the sonic theme. That's right guys, it's time for Dead Animal Bits. So crack open that Citadel skull set once again and grab yourself two Orc or Auric jawbones and place those above and below the speaker. Helpfully, you can slot the small protrusions on the inside of the jawbone into the two inlays on either side of the bolter here. The result is a much more chaotic looking weapon that has a slightly different profile than the bolter that we started off with. All that's left to do is to attach the arms and glue it to your torso. Number two, shoulders. Next up, we have the shoulder pads and the perfect opportunity to let out your inner fabulousness. We'll be using two different types of shoulder pads in this, with the first being taken from the Raptors kit. Many of the shoulders found in there have these grills that fit nicely with the noise marine aspect that we're creating here. They also feature buckled and cracked armor that's been corrupted by chaos that works particularly well over the right shoulder. For the left, we need to look to the Sanguinary Guard kit for some winged shoulder pads. Wings are great for Emperor's Children. Not only did their Primarch Fulgrim feature a winged motif on his left shoulder, but it also mimics the Legion icon nicely. However, before you can use this particular component, you will need to shave away any Blood Angels iconography with a knife or a file. Number three, heads. Okay, so I know this is a video on Emperor's Children and this step is about heads, but I'm going to avoid the obvious joke because A, I'm a respectable member of society and two, I don't want to get demonetized, which let's face it is the more important version here. So have a little chuckle to yourself if you're that sort of filthy degenerate person and let's just move on with it. Anyways, heads. We have two options here, helmeted and unhelmeted. Be quiet. If you're looking for an enclosed armor, then the Raptor kit is once again a good choice. The additional vents can appear to be extra vocal grills that really help to push that noise marine look. Alternatively, if you want an exposed head, then we have the heads found in the House Striders of Slanesh kit. Their horn mutations and otherwise unblemished faces give them this unusual look that really establishes them as being followers of the Big Pink God. Again, be quiet. Now, this kit can be a bit harder to come by, and it's mostly direct order, but it's definitely a great kit to pick up if you're a Slanesh player, due to the vast amounts of conversion components it will leave you with. Number four, speakers. Even if you're not using the sonic weaponry that we built earlier, adding speakers to your Emperor's Children is a super quick, super easy way of representing quite a distinctive design feature of them. After all, they just want to tell everyone about their super hot mixtape. 
Getting a hold of the speakers is easy, just follow the same steps that we used earlier for removing them from the Voxcaster backpack. The tricky part comes when you're actually trying to mount these things onto your miniature. You can just glue them to the backs of the power plant, mount them on the shoulders, or you can use some power plant icons found in the Chaos Marine kit like I have done here. For this particular component, all you need to do is to file down the teeth on the inside of the ring and keep trying to add your Vox speaker. Once you're happy with the fit, you can bring out the glue and fix the speaker into place. I'm really sorry, but this video is completely unintentionally being filled with innuendos, and I really do apologize for that. Number five, flayed skin. Maybe he's born with it, or maybe it's just the god Slanesh. Having perfect flawless skin is something that the followers of Slanesh aspire for, and when I say having, I mean physically owning the flayed flesh of their victims. We can represent this in two ways. First of all, you can simply paint any ragged cloth that the miniature comes in with a pale flesh tone. That is, but that's far too simplistic for a conversion video like this. If you're looking to add some additional flayed skin, then the Dark Alder Cabalite Warriors kit is a particularly good source. Many of the legs found in that set feature an Ed Gein inspired loincloth. All you need to do is to clip off the cloth and file it down uh, the back side of the cloth so you can glue it to wherever you see fit. I'm personally adding to the back of my Chaos Space Marine here. Now these particular components can be a bit more expensive to acquire so it's probably something you want to reserve for unit leaders or characters. However, a good alternative would be the cloth robes found in the Nighthaunt miniatures. The flowing ragged nature of these miniatures work well for that freshly peeled flesh look. So once again, we come to the end of another five ways to convert video. By now, you should be able to build your very own group of RuPaul contestants known as the Emperor's Children. If you enjoyed this foray into the darker side of Space Marine conversions once again, then let me know in the comments below and leave me your suggestions for the other legions you would like to see me tackle next. But before you go, let me just say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your continued patronage really does genuinely help me with the cost of producing these videos and if you'd like to lend me a hand too i've included my patreon page in the description below where you can donate to me from as little as a dollar a month i also want to say a big thank you to bitsbox once again for providing me with some of the extra components that i've used in this video if you're looking to follow this or any of my other conversion videos i would definitely recommend you check them out for all of your bits needs you'll find the link to their site in the description below and for anyone looking to chat about all things wargaming with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description. And so the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.